fed in art glass is the studio here that I started in 2006. I started blowing glass when I was in college and I loved it. So when I was graduating, I knew I wanted to do it after school. So then I found this was an auto garage. So it was an auto garage and a mechanic lived in his house. But yeah, it all started in college just as an idea. And then I put together a business plan and then I got a loan so that I could start the business and get some equipment and down paint on the property. It was just fun and then it was more fun and then it was so much fun that it, I was doing it probably 30 hours a week towards the end of college and I was like how do I keep having fun? How do I keep doing this after college? I pride myself on being able to make practically anything. For the most part when I'm blowing glass and I don't have other things on my mind it's like therapeutic. My motivation for blowing glass is to be better, you know, to be the best. I just keep pushing myself and try to push my skills till every, you know, you've accomplished everything. And that's a good thing about glass is you've never accomplished everything. There's always something that you haven't done or something that you, you know, have to work towards. And that's why I love glass blowing. If it was easy, if you could accomplish it in, uh, you know, a couple of weeks, couple of months, couple of years, it wouldn't be exciting. So what's exciting about it is that it's so difficult and it takes so long to really get to that point where you're making work that uh, you're pleased with and that you are 100% in control. Most of my work is founded in like old Italian techniques. I have a couple of favorite pieces that are at my house um, that were just like the first of one that I just did really well and I just, I can't really think of a price that somebody would be willing to pay that I would be willing to give it away for. Trying something new and you just nail it, it's the best.